Ser y estar practice. To be or not to be. By Samuel G. So let's talk about how we say to be in Spanish. Or really, there really are two ways we say to be. <laughs> we don't really say to be too often. And it would be silly if we said, I be, you be, he be, we be, and so on. <laughs> really, for the most part, instead we say to be like this. I am, she is, we or they are, etc. We may say something like this. He is old or she is busy. And we use the word is in both cases. But it's kind of different in Spanish. So in Spanish, there really are two ways to say is. In Spanish, we might say, El es viejo, he is old. While on the other hand, ella está ocupada, she is busy. Both are ways of saying is, but both are different. Right, let's look at their conjugations. We have ser on the left side, meaning to be, and star on the right side, meaning to be, and we have the first person and second person and third person conjugations for ser. On the right side, we have the first person and second person and third person. Before we start looking at the rules of when we use ser and when we use a star, compare the conjugations of ser in these sentences on the left side with the conjugations of star in the sentences on the right side. On the left side, Maria y Carlos son de Venezuela. Mr. Galberg, of course, is muy guapo. Somos americanos. Hoy es el 24 de enero. La fiesta es a las cinco. And La Puerta es de Madera. On the right side, underneath the star, we say, Como estás? Mis libros están en el armario. Yo estoy alegre. Mis padres están ocupados. And La Puerta está abierta. Can you compare the left side to the right side and see why we might use ser in one case and a star on the other? Okay, so what are the rules? How do we know when to choose ser or a star? So, we use ser when... We're talking about a quality or characteristic of something like, when we say, como es ella, we can answer, Ella es alta y bonita. Some other examples. Maria y yo somos buenos. Las puertas son de madera. Tú eres de España. In another way we use ser is when we're uh, describing or identifying something, such as Carmen es rica. Mis hermanos son abogados. ¿Quién eres? And we use ser with hours, dates, events, and impersonal expressions. Like, son las cinco. Hoy es el dos de octubre. El concierto es en el parque. Es necesario tomar el examen. On the other hand, we use a star when...
for instance, when we're talking about location, such as, Donde están mis libros? Estoy cerca de la biblioteca. Madrid está en España. We also use a star when we're talking about conditions, such as Los muchachos están enfermos, estamos cansados, la puerta está abierta. We also use a star when we're talking about feelings and illnesses, such as Las muchachas están contentas. Jose está triste. No estoy bueno. Tengo dolor de estómago. You should say this little poem when you need a quick reminder. How you feel and where you are, always use the verb estar. Now try these and see if you can decide when you use ser and when you use estar. Try these. So go ahead and watch this again or review any parts that you may need. Uh, we will practice this tomorrow and I'll be able to give you individual help if you need it. Okay, see you then.